Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and as you can see I'm filming in a different spot today. I wanted to have my Christmas tree in the background so I'm filming in my dining room right now and like there's the kitchen and over there is the living room. So yeah, today's video as I'm sure you can see from the title is products I won't be repurchasing slash empties. So a few of the products are completely used up and I'll be talking about whether or not I'll buy them again and some of the other ones I haven't finished yet and I'll get into all of that. Um, I'm using mostly natural light so I apologize if the light fluctuates. There's also the kitchen light and the dining room light right above me so the lighting might be a little weird but like I said I wanted the Christmas tree in the background so whatever. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in and I'm going to start with the products that I completely used up. So first off is the Naked Skin Foundation and I'm the shade 0 0.5. Um, I love this foundation. I've used it in every single one of my tutorials that I've posted and I already have a second bottle that I'm using. So... I have repurchased this and I think I'll continue to in the future unless you know another foundation comes along that I like better but for now I love this one. Next is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser and this smells like cucumbers and I love it. Um, honestly it just it makes my skin feel really soft. I use it after I take off my makeup and it's you know it hasn't broken me out or anything like that. I have actually already bought another one of these from the little stand that they have as you're waiting to check out at Sephora, the little travel size one again, because I love it. Um, I would definitely check this out. <clears throat> it says that it's fragrance free, but like I said, it smells like cucumbers. It's not a strong scent though, by any means. It says it's good for all skin types. It's extra gentle gel cleanser, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I really like it. So I would buy this again. I already did buy it again. <laughs> Next up is this Organic Surge Daily Care Perfecting Face Polish. And this is a little sample size that I got in an Ipsy bag. And I think there might be a tiny bit left in this that I could probably get like one more use out of it. But it smells so good. It smells like rosemary and lemon. And it says it has pure rosemary and lemon essential oils. Oh, so if you like lemon, you would love this. And it has little beads in it for exfoliating your skin. It smells amazing. It makes my skin so freaking soft. And I just feel so pampered when I use this even if I'm just like washing my face like normal um I love it I love it I love it and I did look it up because I do want to buy it again and Organic Surge is a UK company but it's actually not I don't remember the exact price but it's really not that expensive so um I'm not mad about it being um, a UK brand because it's it's not going to cost much for me to order it. So I'll definitely be getting this in the future because it is amazing. Next is the Garnier Clean Makeup Removing Lotion Cleanser. And I use this up as you can see. Though I wasn't crazy about it, I probably won't buy it again. I mean... It was fine it took off my makeup um, but not quite as good as this Avon brand makeup remover lotion that I had in the past and I don't think that they make it anymore which I'm really sad about so I was trying to find something that would be similar try this it's not terrible it didn't like do anything bad to my skin um, I'm just not sure that I would buy it again because it's not you know as good as what I've used in the past and I also have like a Pond's cold cream um, that does just about the same thing and is probably a few dollars cheaper than this I can't say that for sure but 
yeah, so like I've probably said about 15 times now, it's not a bad product. I just don't think I'll buy it again. Next up is the Hemp's Vanilla Plum Herbal Moisturizing and Strengthening Shampoo. And I freaking love this shampoo. Not only does it smell amazing because Vanilla Plum just, sm oh my God, it smells so good. Um, I definitely, I'm using an, another shampoo and conditioner right now, which I do also enjoy, which I talk about in my November favorites video that you can check out. Um, but I do definitely want to buy this again because my hair, like I shed so much and I real I noticed that when using this shampoo, I didn't have as much like hair fallout isn't the right word, but like when you brush your hair, like, you, you know what I mean? Um, and I feel like this, hair, this shampoo really did make my hair stronger and I had, I was like shedding <laughs> a lot less. I can't think of the right word because shedding isn't the right word. Like, I don't think fallout is the right word, but y'all know what I mean. Hemp seed oil is really good for strengthening your hair because they actually use, um, cannabis for cancer patients to help with hair loss among other reasons but that's a whole nother story so I just decided to try this out and I'm really happy with it I feel like it really did make my hair stronger so um after I finish the Garnier shampoo that I'm using right now I might go buy the skin because I really liked it and the scent was amazing so I had attempted to film this video before with a couple of other products but um long story short the footage got deleted so I have a couple other products written down that I no longer have the bottles for because obviously like I used them up I filmed that video and then I tossed the empty bottles not realizing that you know I wouldn't be able to use that footage so I'll just like insert pictures of what the products look like as I talk about them but I just have them written down in my little planner so first up of the ones that I don't have in front of me is the Garnier Micellar Water. Now that was given to me by my friend Lisa because she had tried it out and I guess she didn't really like it. Um, so she gave it to me with about three quarters of the bottle left. And that was another product that it was fine. I feel like it didn't work quite as well as the simple micellar water. I'm not sure why. I don't know like the, you know, the ingredients that were in it comparing, you know, I didn't really look into it that much, but I think I'm going to stick with my simple micellar water and I'm probably not going to buy the Garnier one again. Next is the Skin Iceland Nordic Skin Peel. And this I got in a like kind of box set of a bunch of Skin Iceland skincare. Now on its own, I checked, it cost $45. I got it f part of a bundle thing that I think cost me like 30 something dollars. Um, I really loved them. They're like little pads that kind of act as like a toner. Um, after I would have all of my makeup off, I would use that a pad all over my face. And sometimes I would notice that it would get off even a little bit more like dirt and makeup that, you know, I thought my face was clean, but then use this and it got off a little bit more. So it really just gave you that extra clean feeling. It had a very, um, strong scent. Not strong in a bad way though. It was kind of minty and just very fresh and like super clean. Um, but I really liked them as a toner. Like I said, it is $45. So I'm not sure if I will repurchase it anytime soon. It's something that maybe I would ask for as like a birthday gift or something like that. But it was a great product. Next is the Malin and Goats, I think that's how you say it, Mojito Lip Balm. And I got that in an Ipsy bag and that I actually tossed it without even finishing it because I just did not like it. The only thing I liked about it was the scent. It smelled really good, but the lip balm was so thick and so unbelievably sticky 
that I just couldn't stand it. Um, some people might like that, but it's just not for me. I just felt like it was so sticky and like my hair would get stuck to my lips and um, I just was not a fan. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So that's the last of the items that I no longer have the packaging for. So next I have a few items left in front of me. First is the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. And as you can see, I have about that much left. Um, this, I probably won't buy it again just because it doesn't really work very well for what I wanted it for. Um, it says that you can use it before makeup, after makeup as just a general refresh. It says it's supposed to protect your makeup if you use it after as like a setting spray just dropping it um now you could argue that it doesn't explicitly say that it's supposed to make your makeup last all day um but I feel like it doesn't do anything to help my makeup stay fresh all day what I'll do is I'll spray it on my bare face either at in the morning or at night as just a kind of moisturizing refresh but in terms of doing anything for your makeup I feel like it doesn't do anything so therefore I probably won't be repurchasing it because I have another spray just for like moisturizing your face that I absolutely love and I have another like setting spray that I love so this is this is probably a no for me it's just not for me next speaking of setting sprays is the Maybelline Master Fix uh, Wear Boosting Setting Spray. And this, there's just a tiny bit left and I need to go buy another one because I really love this. It's affordable, which is fantastic. And I really do feel like it helps my makeup last all day. Um, you know, I just spray the shit out of it when I'm done doing my makeup. And I feel like it really does help. So this is, definitely going to be repurchased very very soon because I'm close to running out. Next is the Sephora retractable brow pencil and this is what shade is it? Rich Chestnut. Um, this was initially um, my mom's but as you guys may know or may not know um, my mom passed away last year so she never used it and so I decided to give it a try and I like the pencil end just fine it's retractable it's a good color for me and therefore I will finish it but the other end is just kind of pointless to me it's like this little comb it's not even like a spoolie and it's just weird and pointless in my opinion like it does nothing and so I will not be repurchasing it because I can get a cheaper eyebrow pencil that works just as well rather than getting this two-ended thing that just is kind of pointless I guess um like the pencil end is fine so I don't know if Sephora has a brow pencil that's just a brow pencil um I don't know but this particular one I will not be repurchasing next up is the Guerlain Maxi Lash Mascara and I got this as a Christmas present to myself like two years ago and there's still a little bit left I will finish it um it really is a great mascara but I probably will not repurchase it because it's Guerlain it was pretty dang expensive and there are other mascaras that are just as good if not better than this one so it was a nice treat for myself I've enjoyed using it but I'm not gonna buy it again just because you know after using a full size one using more than just a sample I don't think it's worth the money next up is the Colourpop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Bon Voyage and this is a bronzer and it looks like this and I got it because on the website it said it was good for fair skin. Um, but, and it, and it does look kind of taupey, but when I put it on, it's still too orangey for 
my skin. And it really doesn't even look that orangey on my finger, but like when I put it on, it just doesn't really work. And I also don't really like how it blends out. Um, I'm not really a fan of the ColourPop cheek products in general because I don't really like how they blend out. I will probably end up using this as an eyeshadow or something like that, but as a bronzer, I'm not a fan and I will not be repurchasing it. Next up and lastly, I believe, yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I have another ColourPop product and it is the Super Shock Cheek. This is a blush in the shade Aphrodisiac. And when I got this, I was very confused when I opened the box because I forgot like that I had ordered this one and I'm looking at it like, why did I buy this? Because look how dark it is. And on the website, I'll insert a picture of what it looks like on the website. It looks so much lighter and it says that you can contour with it, but like, no, I think the lighting here is making this look more red than it actually is, but it's still like pretty dark. Let me see if I can get like a good swatch to show you, but it's like, it's a very rusty, it is kind of reddish, but, um, and granted it, it is a, says it is a blush, so I can understand that it's reddish, but it also says that you can contour with it and like, I just, no. <laughs> um, so this is another product that I will probably end up using it as an eyeshadow or something like that and I probably will finish it but I'm not gonna buy it again and I was just really disappointed because the color of it on the website is just super misleading to how it looks when you actually get it so I was really disappointed with that and surprised because ColourPop is generally really good about those things and they post pictures of like swatches on different skin tones and everything but I don't know maybe it's just me but it's just it's not gonna work for me as like a bronzer blush kind of thing I would have to use it as an eyeshadow so that is everything um let me know what you guys think if you've tried any of these products if you agree or if you disagree with me um and let me know what you want to see for me in the future and I will see you guys in my next video bye Next is the Soy Fresh, oh, I can't talk. I'm gonna sneeze now. That's the last of the items that I no longer have the patchy, this lighting is making my nose highlight just like